What's up Rebels? Welcome back to our channel. If you haven't already, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below and join our Rebel family. So for those of you who don't know, my wife and I just did our first IUI procedure. And IUI is a type of insemination because we're trying to have a baby. And I figured because it's not extremely common, or it wasn't to me, I didn't even know IUI existed until we decided to do it. I thought it was just IVF and home insemination. So I figured I would make a little video about it, kind of explaining what I know now, the cost, all that stuff. And we did ours about almost two weeks ago, so we're super anxiously awaiting the results. Fingers crossed, we'll, we find out in a few more days. It's been the longest two weeks of my entire life. I can't wait to find out. Trying to stay positive. So anyway, an IUI is intrauterine insemination and they put the sperm in a catheter and they put it through your cervix and into your uterus. So the chances are higher than an at-home insemination because it goes straight into the cervix. And it's actually pretty cost effective. I assumed when I found out about an IUI, I assumed it would be really expensive like IVF. But it's actually not. I think ours cost around like $212. For us, what's expensive is donor sperm. Because that was about $700 and the shipping and you have to pay for storage. So in total, the whole IUI process for us cost about $1,300. Which isn't that bad if it works the first time. You have to add up if you say you do it for like, say you have to do it four or five times. It can be a little pricey. Hopefully that doesn't happen. Hopefully we're lucky. We bought three vials, so hopefully it can work in the first three tries. I'm really hoping. So the IUI itself only costs about $212. And I'm not entirely sure how much it would cost if you don't have donor sperm. Like say you're having a hard time conceiving and you want to use your husband's sperm. I think they have to wash it. So I think the only other cost would be for you to get washed. And I know in a lot of fertility clinics, they, they do make you take what's called a trigger shot, which makes you ovulate at a certain time so they know when exact, exactly to do it, which I'm sure costs more money as well. But our doctor is a more natural doctor and she wanted to prevent doing the trigger shot unless she absolutely had to. So we only paid at that visit $200 which is pretty amazing, especially if it works. And then the procedure itself is really easy. I was so nervous and I didn't know what to expect, but it's really, really minor. Pretty much you get the sperm, you warm it up. When we made a video, I'll post, post that up there. You warm it up and then she puts it in the catheter and inserts it. And then you lay down for like 10 minutes and that's about it. And even after that, it wasn't that bad. I had like some cramping throughout the day, which they say is normal because your cervix was irritated. But then besides that, you take it easy for a few days and that's it. Honestly, waiting for two weeks was way harder than the IUI or the, that whole process. This is like the hard part is not knowing and just like having to wait every day. I check my calendar, I'm like, okay, four more days driving me crazy. So if you are either a same-sex couple like us or you're having a hard time conceiving naturally, I would definitely recommend doing an IUI just because it, it gets the sperm right up there. So it makes it a lot easier for the sperm to find the egg. And it doesn't cost too much money, which is also great. I would definitely recommend doing this before trying IVF because IVF is really, really expensive. And we are, and we're hoping that this can work so we don't have to go undergo IVF because it's a, it's a long, difficult process. It's not as quick and not as easy. But that's definitely going to be our last resort if this doesn't work. So the procedure itself probably took less than 15 minutes. We went to one doctor's appointment before then, and then in the peer, the week or so after my period I just tracked my ovulation every single day with little sticks little I just and then the week 
prior to the IUI, I just tracked my ovulation on little tests. They kind of look like pregnancy tests. And then when you get a surge, that's when you go in and we called the sperm to overnight ship. Came the next day and that was about it. So I'll, we'll let you guys know as soon as we find out. But as far as the process it goes, in my opinion, was really simple, really easy, cost effective. Like, I have no complaints and I would highly recommend it. I was super nervous and thought it was gonna be really painful and really like hard and difficult. But from my personal experience, I think it was great. And if it worked the first time, then I think it's amazing. So we'll keep you guys updated and let you guys know when we find out. Thanks for watching and see you next video. Love you guys. Bye.